All right, we are back with more Factorio. Here we go. I am Pax, and we are continuing the playthrough of Space Exploration. Um, and we are going to continue uh, with our theme of putting all the production onto the train network. And um, right now we are sitting pretty finally. You know, the base is like saturated. We've basically done all of the research. Uh, let's just throw in some more, get some research going. Get the base going a little bit. Um, just continue doing some quality of life research. Um, but yeah, I, we are just loving life with our recycling system and the logistics train network, uh, providing um, all the buildings from the hub uh, just to wherever we need them immediately. And uh, yeah, it was so nice getting the the uh, requester warehouse from. You know, once we launched our first rocket, we uh, got some goodies. Uh, we found some goodies down here, and it included a requester warehouse. Um, I also trimmed the map a bit. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but just uh, trying to like salvage some UPS. Uh, it's already like dropping a little bit, um, so I'm not entirely sure why. Uh, I did get rid of a lot of the cars, um, and that helped a bit. But it's still it went from like you know 50 to 55 now, so. Maybe get rid of these cars as well, and I might eventually turn that mod off just to make sure I don't, um, you know, keep losing UPS. Um, because the factory isn't very big, and we're going to have to make it a lot bigger still. And so, yeah, we've been, you know, putting things onto the train network, so we've sort of started, like, to really get into the theme of the train base, where we just build these stations and create these isolated networks and sort of, you know, bring in the inputs and outputs and sort of put them through... Um, you know, a design like this, and uh, today we're going to be doing the same thing, but for oil. Um, and so we're going to start with how we usually start, by building um, our logistics hub. And, um, <clears throat> you know, this uh, hub has been, uh, uses the uh, ghost scanner to just put into the LTN network the kind of requests we want. Um, and this then allows us to just plop down ghosts and eventually uh, the items that we want get delivered by train. So it's pretty amazing. It's been pretty amazing. And then the plan for today uh, is to build oil. Um, and we want to just kind of, I think, use these four spots for um, building oil. Um, and eventually we're going to build next door essentially plastic and sulfur so so the dream is at some point to have four lanes of plastic and two lanes of sulfur um, so some uh, so I have a single I want to build a build like this well really a build like this that's going to have a lane of sulfur and then potentially eat it all into sulfuric acid if necessary but kind of hybridize that uh, but to do it all we need so much petroleum gas so we got to build a gigantic oil build and so the plan for the oil build is something like uh, this here it is yes so we're kind of doing 16 um, oil refineries and something like 20 uh, cracking and this will give us only um, 235 so we need then four of these so we're gonna start by building one and um, we also have to kind of build out a new set of blueprints for the fluid stations. Um, so uh, in this case, uh, the stations we're going to want here, are in, I'm going to build actually two input stations for oil. So we'll have uh, two oil inputs. And then we're going to want to also put on to the train network every single one of the fluids. So I'm not sure what order it's going to be in entirely, but it's going to be like, you know, Light, you know, petroleum gas, yeah, light oil, you know, heavy oil, and lubricant, and some in some order. I'm not sure. Um, but then now we have the fuel set up, and then we'll put another roboport up here, maybe. Um, is this good? No, I guess this is where it goes. That covers it all, yeah. Then. Um, for the oil, so we have this uh, provider one, and but we want to make a requester version. So let's get the um, the one from the car abuse space. Um, so here is the requester version of it, 
and we're going to want to just take uh, this inner part. So we'll just do this. Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bots, don't don't just go kill yourselves, please. Alright, it's okay. They're, they're fine. Alright, so here is then a requester version. Um, I think this is good. So maybe I'll just print this as well. Let's have it point uh, this way, I guess. Um, here I want the power poles. So we'll make a new blueprint of this, and then this will just be, uh, I'll just make it like, um, use the requester chest. If I can find it, here it is, okay. Um, all right, and then, did I put it in the book? No. Okay, so we'll do this. <clears throat> right, so um, for the fluids, yeah, we just have to get rid of this power bolt. So that the tanks aren't have place to go. Then yeah, let's just start you know, getting rid of trees as well. Okay, so I, I want I want the blueprint for the questers just so I can flip them. Um, but it's a little bit annoying because I still have to like make sure the wires set up. See, I didn't even set it up over here, so this is sort of an issue. Um, but let's just go get a generic provide station like this. Or is that a good one? I mean, yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter, I guess. So even though this is a requester, we're going to just put a provider down. And um, so then, yeah, basically then I, I'm just going to have it off for now. And uh, then we'll hook, we need to make sure the wire, oh, I didn't fix the wires now. So this wire needs to go here and this goes here. So that'll be our general oil requester. And uh, we'll pump it out and bring it over here. I think something like that is a good line alignment. <clears throat> All right, and then we're just gonna make another one. So this will be the input oil. And then the idea will be like, we're gonna bring it down and around and uh, build over here, you know, the refinery. Um, so we're gonna, again, also kind of build on the theme of this. So let's grab uh, this whole thing. Sure. And we'll pop it down. Um, we'll just pop it down right here for now. Uh, I think we need a little bit of room. But just also to activate a bit the um, train logistics, so that they they start bringing us. Let's see, where do I want this? Let's put it here and here, sure, and then yeah, like this, I guess. Seems good. <clears throat> and then yeah, at some point we're gonna want like a robo port. Um, Okay, but before the robot port, I'm actually going to build um, another. So, so like the, the point of all this circuit logic and like stuff like this is just to build like essentially a fluid balance is a balancer. So we're going to take another one and build. Uh, try to copy this. Yes, and then we're going to build another balancer. Um, so I guess it would go here. I could make it here. I guess. So it's, all right, let's do that. <clears throat> okay, so this will just make sure that essentially this is a balancer, right? So these are balancers. So we're just doing the same kind of things, but with fluids. And, um, and then, yeah, so then we'll just um, build this out and I think uh, kind of build, I mean, we could build two of them, I guess. Yeah, we'll just do it for future proofing, um, <clears throat> right? So then this will just make sure the stations are sort of balanced and we're getting like a lot of throughput. And you gotta remember that the pump to tank throughput is much higher than through pipes. So so the throughput here is extremely high and it's only when we go back to pipes that we won't have throughput. Um, 
but yeah, so we can always upgrade the throughput as well further or so, but like for now, we're not gonna need this much. So then yeah, we'll bring the oil down essentially and um, you know, this will be the build. So then let's get our robo port over here. Let's see, I guess let's put it here then. I don't put it up here, yeah, let's put it up here. Seems better. Sure, right there. So that should activate some more bots. And um, yeah, let's let's move this like one closer. And then let's also think about where we want it. Um, so we're gonna have to push it north a bit more, I guess. Um, is it connected there? I want it to be connected and maybe nice looking. Let's see. Um, so maybe here, right? Or it could be here. Let's try it here. And um, so how many is this? It's only 13. We're going to need uh, 16. Yes. So let's extend it a bit more. Um, it's pretty far down. Can maybe go one more down. just do that I think that's good okay and then the first thing um, let's so then what we're gonna do is cut out let's start with cutting out the lubricant section um, so this design actually is pretty nice because it's a bit modular I swear I cut it did I not cut it okay whatever okay let's get rid of it now let's get rid of this <clears throat> So then we will line up the, um, not there, here, yes. Um, the oil, the heavy oil, and then um, let's fix these uh, lines of oil. So this is the light oil line and this is the um, water line. So let's hook the water back up first, very simple. Then none of this needs water. <clears throat> and um, okay, so then in the build we want to consume, so we want to make sure we can, can consume all the heavy oil. So we do need at least the four cracking, so we have that. And it's not necessarily... We don't have to use all, make all the lubricant production, so I think we're going to just do six instead of seven. Uh, so we'll just make another copy of this and put it here. Should line up. And just make sure it's connected. And then we want to bring the heavy oil across, and so it should come across right here, yep, like that. So that'll be the connection, how the lubricant gets the heavy oil. And um, I have to make sure also that everything looks good um, so we don't need this and yeah and then we'll bring yeah eventually we'll bring the heavy oil out here and that'll be good and then so this will be um, another line for petroleum gas so we'll put that here and this line is for lubricant so we'll pull that up up here somewhere maybe up there um, so we'll have those lines and eventually also we will need to regulate you know the flow um, so this pump will regulate uh, our heavy oil cracking so we're going to turn this off if we don't have enough heavy oil is the idea and we'll just prioritize the lubricant basically so so the heavy oil will just go into the lubricant first more or less um, but some of it will be able to escape since we're not using it all and then i think we're good oh yeah we need one more thing which is to connect this light oil to the main light oil line which happens right here so we need this one and i don't think there's any others right now the lubricant needs water um no no yeah we have to get these light oils across so that's the other thing so this one this one and this one okay so that sets up gets all the light oil across, it gets the heavy oil across, the lubricant and the petroleum gas out. So this line will be for petroleum gas from the cracking and then we'll have the petroleum gas from the refineries. 
cool. So then let's take now this one. So I think if we just take the whole thing, it'll be good. Start, start with this, make sure it's right. Um, okay, so here again, now we're gonna be sending the petroleum gas out through this line. And then again, we have the light oil coming across and then the refineries also need the light oil, so they get them there, yes. And then they also have the water, so then the water comes across. And so that's a little module for us and we can just repeat this uh, motif to build the rest of it. And uh, let me just, just to deconstruct the rest. So then, yeah, so we need um, four heavies and 21 light oil cracking. So then we need, like, we're gonna build 22 of them more or less since we want to make sure we can crack it all. So that's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. So that's a pretty nice um, alignment as well. It's like I said, this is a pretty good little module for the build. And um, <clears throat> this is essentially how we're gonna set it up. And eventually yeah, we, we can squeeze some beacons in here. I mean, it's a little excessive, we don't need this. Like originally this spacing was to have like normal Factorio beacons, but in, in the space exploration, the beacons are a little different. So we don't need this, but I still I still like it. So I'm gonna keep it anyway. Then let's put uh, some more robo ports out as well. So we can squeeze some robo ports in here in the middle as well. So put one here maybe and put one like probably like up here or something, but maybe want one kind of in the middle, I don't know. Sort of doesn't fit until we just put it here and then up here maybe. All right, so that is the idea for the oil builds. And then we also wanna make sure it has modules. So let's use the module inserter um, to add the modules. So we'll just set it up like that. And uh, yeah, now we can just go like this. And this will also bring modules for us. So we'll get the ghost scanner to request modules as well. Okay, and uh, yeah, it's bringing all the stone bricks. <laughs> so that's nice, yeah. So yeah, there it goes. I <laughs> just brought, I don't know why it made it two requests for 50, but oh well. So it should be coming. Um, okay, and then, so yeah, we have this. This is like a balancer, yes. And then we'll bring the oil down. Um, and this is just kind of trying to future proof it a little bit, I guess. Um, but we can, we can eventually also, if we want to even have more throughput, we can like put pumps here to, to increase it further, but even without, uh, pumps, I think, um, so let's, um, put maybe one space and have it go down through here like this. So that'll be the oil coming in. And we also need water. So let's also clean this up a bit, make sure everything's trimmed out and looks good. Um, yeah, so this doesn't need to go. Oh, this looks good. Yeah, so then uh, I think we'll like kind of have a water pump up here. Uh, so just like think about this maybe. Um, just also make sure that, just trying to make sure that everything is looking okay. Uh, okay, so this doesn't reach across, so put this here maybe. And is there anything else we need to fix? So yeah, we don't need this. That's, that's this one, yeah. Okay, it looks pretty good. Looks pretty good, I think, yes. Everything looking good. All right, great, great, okay. So now let's do the tank logic. Um, so the hope is to maybe have something that's like a little bit uh, of a pattern. Um, and so I was thinking, yeah, we would want maybe, let's see, how far does this one go? Let's see, so maybe let's try it here. And um, I can do something similar, I guess, for the light oil, right? So we'll put this one here and then have it go out like this. Yeah, so, then we'll have, you know, some tanks here. Um, or I guess we want pumps. I think I'm just gonna pump everything. Pump, pump, kind of like that. Is this far, too far? 
Maybe this is better. Yeah, that, let's do it with that. Align with that one. Yeah. Okay, so that is heavy oil, and then this is going to be lubricant. Um, and then this will be the light oil. So let's do this. And then, yeah, it'd be nice to have some sort of pattern, so... We'll just say that that's the petroleum gas. Um, okay, right? Um, and so, yeah, so that's a lubricant, but then we have to do one more thing with the petroleum gas, which is, yeah, we want to essentially, we're gonna regulate the light oil cracking by blocking off this petroleum gas line. Um, so we're just gonna wanna pump here. And then I think, yeah, we'll just bring this kind of across and uh, yeah, like this is fine. So we'll just do this for the petroleum gas. And um, so let's, let's, um, let's say the water comes like on this line. So we need water on the other side. So I'm gonna just do this. Um, so you can do that. So let's do that, that this, 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 that, and that's water. Um, right, okay, so then let's bring over uh, some wires. So I'll just go like this to start. Um, probably want outputs as well, so do this. Did I do this? Yeah, and then we'll do this. I'll cover everything. And um, yeah, we're gonna want to monitor the contents of all of the tanks. And then there's a couple pump pumps we wanna regulate. So effectively this pump and the pump out here. Oh wait, not like that though. So basically, um, yeah, we're gonna say, you know, if there's, um, Exactly, we want, as long as there's more than say, let's just say uh, 30,000. Uh, 30,000 heavy oil, as long as there's more than that, we can allow it to crack, so we can just start getting rid of it. And then similarly here, we want this to be light oil. So, as long as have, we have enough light oil, we allow for light oil cracking. And that will be that. Um, pretty simple and so basically then yeah we're just prioritizing I mean yeah we're just making sure we have enough of the heavier things before we crack them down into the lighter things more or less yeah cool okay then um, we're getting close to being ready already so that's exciting um, the last thing we're going to want to do then is uh, to build a little fluid bus to get out of here so maybe let's make a little bit of space say that that's the start of it And yeah, you know, we're gonna copy this. <laughs> so to, to fulfill our dreams, we need four of these. So I'm gonna maybe copy this four times, going over to the left. Um, and uh, then, uh, let's, so then we need a little bus design to bring the fluids back around. Uh, so we're gonna just do something like this. And now we'll, See, bring it maybe over. Can you reach here? Yeah. So let's say we'll just bring everything to here, and then we'll maybe actually maybe let's try it like this. Pretend it's like this. So this one goes here. Yeah, I like this better. And then we'll do here. Or right, let's see, let's see. Um, be nice if it kind of like aligned with this. So yeah, we'll just do it like this then. I think that's fine, right? Um, will it reach? Yeah, it reaches, good. All right, so yeah, we'll turn around the corner just like it's belts more or less, and then we'll come down uh, this way and start, yeah, continue to feed, you know, bring the fluids back around and feed the trains. So that is the fluid bus, and this is basically the, the layout of the whole design. Um, 
then I think we're pretty much ready uh, to maybe get it started. So we could get it started while we uh, finish off the last little bits of pipes. <clears throat> so let's, yeah, so then let's start requesting some oil. Uh, make sure, yeah, uh, I'm gonna have to redo the blueprints at some point. Um, yeah, so then the oil requester station will again, uh, it needs um, the uh, request threshold to be um, a train load, which is like how I usually like to do it. So it's going to be 50,000. And um, sometimes the requesters need uh, to not accidentally be providers. But it, it'll be fine now. I think it's fine. So then, and then we'll request so however much we can put in these tanks. So we have two, four, five tanks. So that's 125,000. And that should set it up. I should send the request. So we'll just do two of them. And we should see them request any second. There you go. There's two oil trains coming. Fantastic. Okay. And then let's build out the rest of the station. So we'll want the provide fluids from the this one. Um, yeah, so these four stations will then be the provide fluids. I should rename this. It's called provide, which is bad, but I don't want to rename it right now because it might mess up the trains. Um, but then, yeah, we'll just do, we'll just copy this again. Oh boy. Okay, cool. So again, yeah, I guess we'll just bring over the, uh, yeah, so it's very simple like this. Do that. Is everything covered? Not really. So bring put it one more RoboPort over here. Hey, it's starting. Hey. There you go. RoboPort. Alright, the oil is coming. Oil, oil is coming, coming. So yeah, it just gets pumped through here very quickly. So you can see like, yeah. Well, <laughs> it's going very fast. So now yes, it looks like everything's active. That's great. That's great to see. So we'll, we will be doing some cracking. It has to kind of uh, fill up this backlog, but this pump isn't on, so um, the petroleum gas is mostly coming from here, um, and this will eventually back, back up, so that will prevent the petroleum gas from being cracked, because we want the light oil to fill up. And now the light oil is actually already over here into the trains, and, and technically it is actually ready already. Well, no, 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 we would need, we need to connect, of course, this. Since fix this wire. And then let's bring down the other fluids. Uh, it's so convenient how like nice it is. So that's uh, then, wait, not this one. This is then petroleum gas. This will be the next one. Petroleum gas, lubricant, and finally, I guess the heavy oil is last. that's it there you go that's now our fluid bus coming back putting it onto the trains and it does look like uh, the oil is coming through very strong so yeah it's gonna have no problems uh, feeding it looks like everything's going yeah so now this is uh, backed up because 
uh, yeah, we're gonna wait. We're gonna pry, you know, accumulate enough light oil before we're gonna start cracking it into petroleum gas. So then, but then it's all going into the train station for, for quite a while. So yeah, we've already accumulated a good amount of it. Already accumulated a good amount of petroleum gas. So got it's got some heavy oil even. So I guess it is like a little like mostly escaping then. So why aren't these? I see, I see. This is not finished. These are working. Okay, yeah, that's better, hopefully. I would like it to maybe prioritize this. Okay, there it goes, there it goes. So, but I think a lot of it's going to escape this way before, um, before it cracks. So, like we could turn this off as well, based on the lubricant. I think it's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it. If we, if we really run into lubricant problems, Oh, what the heck? Oh, that's not good. I don't know how this happened. I don't know how that happened for sure. That's very strange. Yeah, it's because I don't... Oh, 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 oh. Oops. Oh yeah, these are not what I want. Oh gosh, okay. <laughs> That's horrible. Alright, I want this to just say uh, provide threshold 50,000. Yes. Alright, these are provides. Yes. Yes, good. Great. Okay, you're fine. Should be fine. Things are fine again. Um, okay, so I want to rename this to request. Just make sure it doesn't have any trains coming. Alright, that looks good. Cool. Yeah, so this is cool, I think. This is great. This is looking good. Should be requesting more. There's no more oil. Okay, that's feasible, I guess. Yep. So yeah, I doubt we have enough um, we don't quite have enough oil supply for this, even one of them, I guess. Um, but also, I know that, let's see, this one is not online. And then we also need to connect this wire. Um, but they're all the other direction, aren't they? So yeah, we just need to connect the wire, but um, I think this is flipped. So this tank goes like this, and this, and this, we can do. So, okay, hopefully that will work. Yes, so then that should get added to the station eventually. But yeah, I think we're good then. Um, yeah, we got plenty of oil now and we're starting to see it run full blast. Um, and then, yeah, the intention I guess will be to, let's maybe start by just building a second one. Uh, but we're gonna build ultimately like four of them, I guess. Um, 
then I'm wondering how close I can make it. Let's see. So, it actually reaches. I like that. Right there. <clears throat> Very good. So yeah, this will be how we get a bunch of oil. And we'll just, we only need it to come through this one. So let's do that. And then now we have even more. All right, it's looking good. So then, yeah, we'll continue making more, but uh, just I'll save scaling up for later. Yeah, we're really starting to see how great the logistics training network is and how easy it is to, yeah, just get things built and have this, the trains deliver to these kind of isolated local networks and just have these small number of bots, kind of a couple hundred bots in each one. Versus like building a, you know, global network with like 10,000 bots, we'll have, you know, 50, you know, small networks with 200 bots each. Um, and of course it's very easy to recycle everything as well. So yeah, nice. So now, yeah, these are finally getting filled up. We're starting to see, yeah, now we got all the fluids onto the train system. So already getting significant amounts of fluids into the train network. Yeah, the light oil is already starting to fill up. And it looks like, yeah, we're finally getting some good amount of oil coming through. Um, I'm guessing this is finally working, yes. Yeah, so a train came here. And yeah, we'll just have to continue like, um, is this oil active actually? Yes, okay. Right, yeah. We we'll just have to continue getting resources online and yeah, we, we pretty much need like an entire, all the oil in the world to just satisfy this one uh, station. Uh, so that's gonna be fun. <laughs> but yeah, I think this is looking really nice. We got like the same kind of thing going on with the pipes that we had with the belts. It's sort of like got these balancers even. And um, you know, plenty of oil production now onto the trains. So I think this is a good place to uh, call the session and um, Next time, I think we're gonna continue, yeah, just getting stuff on the train network. And um, the idea will be to use uh, the, the squares up here to build, um, yeah, a bunch of plastic and a bunch of sulfur, as well as sulfuric acid. So yeah, we'll need like another bunch of train, train stations for, yeah, I guess, yeah, plastic out, sulfur out, sulfuric acid out, coal input, iron plate input, so we're still a pretty sophisticated train station right here, and um, and then but then we're just going to directly feed the petroleum gas instead of trying to pull the petroleum gas on from the train network. Um, but we still need it on the train network because other things besides plastic and sulfur need petroleum gas. Um, so we want want access to everything, but it's like so much throughput for plastic and sulfur. I decided it would be better just to uh, directly feed it. So. That will be uh, the idea, and uh, yeah, and then yeah, we'll just continue pushing until we get. Um, we still need to also get like, I want red circuits on the train network. Yeah, probably like heat shielding and LDS, uh, just like everything. Um, yeah, we'll need the electric motors on the train network, batteries, um, even then building solar panels and modules is probably worthwhile too to put on the train network. Um, and yeah, once we get all this stuff on the train network, we'll finally start to think about going into space and using this area to build the um, logistics for sp getting into space and supplying the space station and doing science in space. So that will be the plan going forward, but I think we'll see this happening uh, in the next session. And until then, there you go, Factorio. I'm Pax. See ya next time.